The House of Representatives used its Democratic majority late Thursday to pass a police reform bill in honor of George Floyd. And this tops our news making national headlines this morning. The vote passed 236 to 181 with all 233 Democrats and three Republicans voting yes. The bill is called the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act of 2020. Floyd died after a Minneapolis police officer placed his knee on Floyd's neck while in custody back in May. The bill prohibits racial profiling, increases accountability for police misconduct, and bans chokeholds and no-knock warrants on the federal level, among other measures. Some insiders say that this bill won't get through the Senate. A large crowd gathers at the Kentucky State Capitol calling for justice for Breonna Taylor. Demonstrators in Frankfurt want the Attorney General to charge the police officers involved in her death. They chanted, held signs, and listened to speakers. Taylor was shot and killed in her home March 13th when police conducted a no-knock raid as part of an investigation into Taylor's former boyfriend. Taylor's current boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, fired at officers, thinking that they were intruders. Officers fired back, killing Taylor. One of the officers involved has been fired. The other two remain on administrative reassignment. More than a billion dollars in stimulus checks went to dead Americans. Those payments, totaling $1.4 billion, were sent to more than a million deceased Americans, according to a new report released to Congress. The report finds that the Treasury Department and the IRS sent the first three batches of payments using previous procedures for stimulus payments, which, quote, did not include using death records as a filter to halt payments to descendants. Tying that decision to an effort to meet the CARES Act's mandate to deliver payments as rapidly as possible. When asked for comment, representatives of the Treasury Department and the IRS referred NBC News to responses that they provide in the GAO, GAO's report. A dire warning about coronavirus from the head of the CDC. We could be looking at 23 million people infected, even though tests are only showing a fraction of that. NBC's Tracy Potts has the latest. 33 states have seen an increase in COVID-19 cases in the last week. The CDC director predicts it may actually be 10 times worse. I jokingly say or sarcastically say, if we didn't do tests, we'd look great. We? You know what? It's not the right thing to do. President Trump last night self-correcting again on whether the U.S. should do less testing. He's contradicting his own health experts. It's going away. And governors who see COVID-19 surging. It's not something that just goes away. It's something that you got to understand, you got to live with. The nation's three largest states, Florida, Texas, and California, are seeing an explosion of new cases. We might feel like we're done with COVID-19, uh, but COVID-19 isn't done with us. Texas has hit the pause button on reopening. Houston is becoming a new hot spot. New cases have doubled there in less than a week. The situation is bad. We're in the midst of a health care crisis. And while many remain skeptical about wearing masks. This is a planned pandemic. This is totally political and you know it. Medical experts are concerned about the surge among young adults. Also at risk, communities of color. We're all in the same storm. But we still ain't in the same boat. Federal data shows African Americans are four times more likely to land in the hospital. Tracy Potts, NBC News.